Sometimes you see uh, yeah. what you call a dream. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, it could be like a vision of some sort. Vision, yeah, or something which is uh, from God, you know. Yes, uh, uh, for example, what I went through in my life and how God saved me, to me it's very like, uh, it's very like uh, what do you call it? Um, significant, special. Yeah, significant, special uh, events happened to me that which, but this is a, pers a personal experience in this plan. This does not put the same the truth to everyone. Kind of but I thought the two Muslims, right? Yeah. They both said they heard the voice of the main together. Yeah, but again, how do they know you was Andrews? Uh, that's the point that was like a very, very extremely beautiful voice. It was yeah, it's like in the family cemetery. I don't know about them. They, 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 there was no one else around. Just, but sometimes, yes, you can be directed or being inspired or helped by the Andrews. But I never heard someone saying, I've heard the, the, the voice of the Andrews, you know? Because again, if it's a good thing, I love I love knows best, yeah. But again, Satan can deceive us. For example, now we go back to, for example, the best example that I can give you about uh, easy you can fall into deception and Satan trap by believing that God spoke to us directly. Paul, Paul, he said on his way, I don't know if the story is true or not, but according to him, God appeared to him, Jesus appeared to him, yeah, and he inspired him. The question, how can he know that was Jesus or not? I mean, I mean, there's many predictions that Paul said did come true. Paul said that Jesus, Jesus the voice told him, go to Ananias, you'll be healed there. And, and he went there, and, and the thing happened. Yeah, but according to, according to Matthew 24, 24, that does not prove that it's a God speaking to you. But according to Matthew 24, 24, even the liars, they would do wonders, miracles. They will have miracles. So according to, to, to Jesus himself, he said, he said there will be many liars. Okay, deceivers, and they will have wonders, wonders which make miracles. So, because, because for example, fortune teller and a soft teller can tell you something which is true about the future, and our Prophet told us, but it's mixed with a lot of falsehood. Yeah. Prophet Muhammad told us how the Satan or the demon, the jinn, uh, uh, steal the information or the news from the heaven and pass it to one another until it reaches there. The magician or the fortune teller. Then the fortune teller himself mixes it, uh, mixes it with falsehood. So that doesn't prove that uh, Paul did hear God because something happened and because there was a prediction that which occurred and took place. You understand? So again, like you know, just, uh, so your master is about uh, people in the ways. Oh, so the people having religious, spiritual, mystical experiences, and to what extent can these indicate God's existence? But what we say to you is about your own soul because you know the beautiful Islam teaches you to save yourself first. Because you know, we're not guaranteed. To, uh, you and I, all of us here, we're not guaranteed to live forever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can we can die anytime. Understand? And when you say when you're gonna stand before God, God is going to ask you. He's gonna tell you what do you think about the other people. He's going to ask you first. That's what the Quran says. Yeah, you are the Amanu Quran who said, "Ali Kunara." All who you believe, save yourself and your family from the fire first. So you come in here and say, "I don't want to comment." Some people choose the wise to do. I would say it's wise not to, to speak, not to speak about knowledge. I would say it's wise not to come to a decision until you until you evaluate all the evidence and come to you've done your own research and then come to a decision. I don't, I don't make a claim and then like five weeks later I'm going to change my mind. I understand where you're coming yeah, from. Yeah. You're right. And even that Islam teaches us to speak with knowledge. Yeah. However, the things yeah, that yeah, I'm, I'm speaking I'm about. I don't have a position. I don't want to speak about. I don't want to speak about. 
But what I will say to you, the things that we speak, like me personally, when I speak to Christians, I don't go in detail, generally speaking, sometimes maybe I do, but uh, generally speaking, I don't go in detail with a Christian layman about manuscripts, about uh, many typical things. What I do, I speak about something which is not by necessity. For example, God becoming a human, that doesn't make any sense to any human being, because God is perfect. By him, by God becoming a human being, he, by default, he's going to become imperfect. Which goes against God's nature, which is perfect all the time. Being devil's advocate, what do you think the contention is? Some people would say, Jesus is not the nature of God, is distinct from his nature as a human being. They're united in the same person, but they say, like, your physical nature is distinct from your spiritual nature, they're still united in the same person. So, so Jesus is God nature, yeah. it's distinct from his human nature, yeah. but we're united in the same person. Just how like, your physical nature is distinct from your spiritual nature, you're still united in the one person. How do you answer that? It is easy to, uh, to respond because when you ask them, tell me where, which God, which Jesus nature is God within him, and which one. For example, the soul. The soul is inside me, okay? I mean, me and the soul is the same thing, okay? Like when you say, Shamsi, if you hurt me, you're gonna hurt me and you have my soul, Shamsi, yes? So it doesn't make any sense Jesus had two natures within him. It doesn't make any sense, it's a contradiction. Understand, brother? That's why even the Bible, where Jesus said, I had God nature and human nature at the same time. He never said that, he never said that. Also, uh, 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 there's another way to refuse also. Okay, I asked them, if God was inside Jesus, okay, which God was it, the Father? The Son. They said the Son. Yeah. So the Son became human being because according to the Bible, he said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word became flesh, became, okay, became flesh. Also, that God, in, in, the, in the Old Testament, Jacob said to God, the heavens cannot contain you. The heavens cannot contain you. Let alone my own time, temple. So if the heavens cannot contain God, why? Because God is the greatest, okay? Because God, because the Christians sometimes Nothing can they, contain Him. Yeah, uh, uh, sorry. Go, uh, 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 not, uh, no creation can contain Him, no doubt. Uh, 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 the Christians, they believe in God conceptually, not in reality. God exists independently. He has own attributes. So, I can say that. I can say that. I can say that. So, if no doubt the heavens is greater and bigger than Humans, uh, Jesus' body. So how God was inside the body? If so, someone says, yeah, but you as a Muslim say, I can help you. Or have the Christians in a way, I have them, but I can refute some doubt because, for example, they say, yeah, but when you say God descends to the lowest heaven, you say without how? No, there's a difference between something we can observe in our physical world, world and there's something which is a pure and seen. We can observe from the physical, physical world, world upon world, that human, Jesus, he was a human being. People, they saw him with their own eyes. They didn't say he was bigger than other human beings. He was a normal human being. He was ignorant. Uh, he was uh, uh, mean ignorant meaning he didn't know many things, okay? Uh, you know, uh, disrespect Jesus. Because uh, as a Muslim, if I do disrespect Jesus, we we'll take uh, no doubt, we become a disbeliever. The point here is, logically speaking, rationally, how Jesus as a human being, his body, contained God, which in the Bible says, the heavens cannot contain him. Either God, go and get his nature to be the greatest and became smaller than Jesus and there were other human beings they were bigger than Jesus so they were bigger than who? bigger than God who was inside Jesus it doesn't make any sense that's why in the Quran you know the best example the refutation against Christianity in the Quran Allah said about Jesus and his Mary all of them used to eat food what does that mean? it means that they, they cannot be independent and God is independent it's self-sufficient if God's in need of food, cannot be self-sufficient. Self you know, that's why when I speak to Christians, I always emphasize on the most important thing, which all human beings share, which is our sound intellect. Understand? God became a baby. Okay. So when he was a baby, I mean, you can correct me, I, I know that Christians, they say, even when he was a baby, God was inside him. God was, God was fully the baby. God was, yeah. The baby is... The human nature is distinct from God, but the, the, the baby and God were fully united. Yeah, so God was inside. And God was fully the baby. Yeah, God, God was inside the baby. So again, so Mary was bigger than God. Mary was bigger than God in size. I mean, because God exists independently.
and the heavens and earth can't contain it. I mean, the Bible says that, and in the Quran, of course. See, I'm, 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 see, I'm, I'm the philosophy, so I'm saying God. Uh, I did, I did say religious. I read all the religious textbooks, but you haven't read all uh, Islam books, Quran. Yeah. You have a Quran? Yeah. yeah. And the Sunnah correctly, or just read like a clear? Read the newspaper. No, no, I, I read, I read the Quran. I read most of Sahih Bukhari. I read, I read most of the Bible and the Torah. So, yeah, I, I have some understanding what these religions say, right? Okay. But I don't, I don't, I mean, deep about it. I know that's like one time I read the Quran. I read the Quran many times, okay? There is no story about that. Let's say it again. You read the Quran many? Yeah. So I do have something to say, but I'm, I don't know any philosophy, right? I'm thinking from a, not necessarily what I hold it, but I say from formal and a philosophical point of view. And, and God from a philosophical point of view is outside space and it's outside time. God is okay, outside space. Okay, when you say space and time, again yeah. here, look, this is a praise and a philosophy which Christianity adapted later on. Jesus, likewise, I agree. Yes, so the, the Jewish people did first, okay, then the Christians followed them, then the Muslims did follow them. You're right. So the point here is Jesus and the Moses and all the prophets and messengers, they never came with philosophy. They came with the logical, rational, we say logical, not the philosophical defining logic. Okay? Yeah, no, for, exa for example, for example, we're like talking about space and time. Yes? We talk about space and time. Again, space is an ambiguous term, alright? Because we believe so uh, God existed before the creation, correct? Yeah. So when God created the creation, either he created the creation within himself or outside him. Which one is it? So the classical theists say he created it from nothing. He created the no, 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 I'm not talking about from. When God created the creation, was it within himself or outside his, what if, himself? If God has no place, inside, outside, like... There's, there's no meaning, there's yeah, okay, but there is God exists before the creation, correct? Yes. So now rationality, God exists and there's nothing beside God. God created the creation. Yeah. Either is going to be inside himself or outside him. There's no okay. other, there's no third option. No, 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 okay. Um, uh, is that logical rational problem? You cannot escape it. It's irrational. You can, is God existed all the time, has no beginning, correct? Yes, but, that, but just saying God exists doesn't mean God exists in a place. That's just two different things. I'm asking about place or not. Yeah, but, but then you ask is it inside him or outside him? Yeah, so, so God really so, created the creation. So, so you, when you ask that question, did God create the creation inside himself or outside himself, you then presuppose God exists in some type of place. That's it's what just, exists. Just, yes, that does not that does exist in some type of place. That's what exists. Yes, that does not but, okay, okay. I'm, even in stem physics, we see this, this is a poison philosophy. You know, everyone here, if I ask him, because they haven't studied philosophy, naturally, the way God created us, they say, yes, God existed, we have God. Because remember, I said to you, differentiate between conceptual belief of God, which only is in your mind, that's only in reality, and that's the majority of the belief of the philosophers, Muslim or Christian or Jewish, they have God that only exists in their mind, that's not in reality. Because if God, that God exists independently. 